sitting here with two stars of the highly anticipated film, If I Stay. It's based on the number one best-selling novel. Please welcome Chloe Grace Moretz, who plays Mia, an aspiring cellist who literally faces a life and death decision, uh, but not before falling madly in love with Adam, who's played by this guy, Jamie Blackley. And really quick before we speak to you, take a look at a clip. Why me? Because I like to watch you play. You go to another place. And you're beautiful. You get this crease in your forehead right there. Why do I have this feeling you're about to mess up my entire life? A little mess never hurt anybody. have said it was really important to do Grace Foreman's novel justice, that it was really crucial to you. Talk about that. Um, yeah, I mean, I think one of the one of the main things I fell in love with was Gail's novel and, and how how emotional it was and how brilliant it was. And when I first read the script um, and the in the book simultaneously, I think I felt really connected to the the book personally as Mia because you know she found the cello when she was eight years old and I found acting when I was five years old. So I really felt this kind of need to 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 show audiences who Mia is through the book's eyes, not just through a script's point of view. Yeah, I think, I, and also I think because so many people love the book um, it was just for us about making sure that people come out of the movie with the same feeling if I stay by Gail Foreman is number one on New York Times and bestseller list and USA Today does that is that pressure added pressure for you guys as the ones bringing the story to life um, I don't know I think yeah. it's just great I think it's, I think it's exciting. It's, yeah yeah, I mean, I think I think it's cool to see that the that you know larger audiences are enjoying the book and understanding the book because that's what really drove us to want to make this movie. So I think when people read the book for first and foremost before they see the movie, it makes us even more excited because we tried to stay as linear and realistic to the book as we could. And let's talk about the chemistry. Uh, did you guys know each other before you started filming? Because it sure seemed no, we easy. didn't. No, we just we just made sure that we messed around the entire time yeah. and didn't take ourselves too seriously. That's mm -hmm. really and that's kind of fooling people I, I, I yeah. love the uh, the director said about you Jamie that uh, after your audition tape she thought somebody had gone into her brain and pulled you out that you you were the epitome of, of the character well I don't know I ju I mean <laughs> I just kind of went in there I was so nervous because I, I chemistry rep with Chloe and I was so scared um, but I think for me it was just about going in there and you know the same way that people connect with these characters reading the book is the same way that I kind of interpreted him and luckily I, I I guess I got the right interpretation for them yeah I'll say and you looked so natural playing the cello uh -huh. is that something that you were doing in your spare time when you weren't making 30 movies before the <laughs> age of 17 um, well I mean I, I trained with the cello for about seven months or so and you know I tried really hard to, to get the technicality down but in seven months you can't really learn such an, such an intricate instrument um, so really what I had to learn was the emotionality and the passion that comes with being a cellist and how much uh, you know how much you have to give your your soul and your your entire being to this instrument when you play it um, and the technicality kind of came from 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 some Frankenstein putting my head on on another girl's body who was an amazing cellist so well, that's the beauty of the film and you it talked is. about passion and, and and playing the cello that's how it feels watching this film it really is beautiful it's so emotional I'm not going to give anything away but <laughs> people do love the book and congratulations thank, thank you so much it. thank you really really great to see you all everybody if I stay opens nationwide this Friday.